This is very strange news. The blood moon eclipse of 2019. Could this super blood wolf moon cause Hawaii volcano to erupt again? USGS warning. This is on Science Global News. A total lunar eclipse will appear in the night sky between January 20th and 21st of this year. It will cast a reddish hue over Earth. Such an astrological event has often been linked to evil omens and theories surrounding natural disasters, and although many may find this unlikely, the USGS has now warned that total lunar eclipses could be behind some of the volcano eruptions on Hawaii. Well, I remember that uh, once I was filming the lunar, not a lunar eclipse, but it was a full moon, and uh, a few hours after that, we had an earthquake that I just uh, I had, I had updated you on as well. Full moons and earthquakes are connected. Now we have this, the warning of total lunar eclipses. And that's what we had as well in the big earthquake in Europe in 1999. It started from uh, the total lunar eclipse. And uh, it was... Uh, first in Turkey, and then it fell over towards Greece three weeks later, and it was really massive. Now, could the super blood wolf moon cause Hawaii volcano eruption? According to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, earthquakes can be up to three times more likely during high tides, which appears when a full moon is present. Lunar eclipses occur when the full moon passes into the shadow of the side of the Earth, facing away from the sun. And because the lunar eclipse only takes place during a full moon, tides are higher during this time. The USGS said there may be a connection between the lunar cycle and eruptions of Hawaiian volcanoes. The agency said in the Hawaii example of 52 eruptions since January 1832, there have been nearly 3,900 tidal maximums, of which roughly 3,850 of them went by without causing an eruption. Statistically, this is about a 1% chance that any tidal maximum will affect the start of an eruption. And although the U.S. government agency, USGS, points out the increased likelihood still makes a connection weak, they added, quote, you must stop and realize that the background probability is, in general, very low in a given place or year, fractions of a percent. So that raising this tiny probability by a fraction of three during high tides still results in a very tiny probability, end quote. In 2019, the Hawaiian Kilauea volcano erupted multiple times and caused hazardous conditions on Hawaii's Big Island, and volcano eruptions are not anything new on Kilauea, as the Pu'o vent, where lava is visible, has erupted almost continuously since January 1983. From mid-March to the beginning of May in 2018, thousands of earthquakes appeared on the island. In 2014, Earth Changes Media did a special report on a list of earthquakes and volcanoes related to solar and lunar eclipses. A full lunar eclipse occurred between April 14th and 15th in 2014, while the annual solar eclipse occurred April 29th, 2014. Between the two astrological events, the report claimed, quote, significant Earth-changing events were triggered by the Moon's gravitational pull during lunar eclipse events and rapid temperature shifts during the solar eclipse events, end quote. As many as 18 earthquakes appeared around the world while 17 volcanoes erupted. The report suggests they were all linked to the eclipses taking place during this 14-day period. A study from 2016 done by Nature Geoscience also found the tides that occurred during full and new moons may be connected to a slightly higher likelihood of high-magnitude earthquakes around the world. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.